Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel and I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see the scripting part in a test template. So far in my previous video, we have seen how to automate test case using keyword test where you perform the user action and test template record it and replay it back as a part of keyword test. But in the actual project, you may come across a case where you cannot perform the user action to record it. For instance, you want to extract a date and time out of available string and want to compare with the available date. Now this action cannot be performed using keyword test. So you want to write a script for them. Now let's see how to do scripting in a test complete. So here we have this folder script where you can create a script for your automated test case okay let's see how to do scripting here so i have this conditional statement test which is a keyword test now i have a requirement where i want to add a complex logic here so either i'm gonna convert the whole keyword test into the script and add a complex logic as a part of script or i'm going to create a small function I'm going to call that function inside the keyword test and going to run the keyword test and that function will run as a part of keyword test. Okay, let's see both the approach one by one. Let's first convert the whole keyword test into the script. For that, I'm going to right click on the keyword test that I want to convert it into the script. And here I'm going to select this option convert to the script, which will convert my keyword test into the script. And for here, the test name, you can give an appropriate test name. I'm gonna say conditional statement test keyword to script, something like that. Okay, so this is basically the function that is going to be created inside the script file. And here, click here to add a new script. So I'm gonna give a name, same as this keyword test name, that way I know that the function inside that script are related to this keyword test. and I'm gonna click OK and OK and convert the operation description to comment yes so as you can see here my keyword test got converted into the script test okay so as I was saying before now I can add a complex logic here for instance I have a requirement where I want to extract the date and time out of available string. Let's give a message. Extracting date and time out of available string. Okay. So just assume you have a number of lines to perform this action. So you can squeeze it in between your keyword test that you just converted into script and now instead of running it from keyword test you have to run it from or within the script folder and when I run this you will notice it printed this extracting date and time out of available string okay so now make sure that you do not run it from keyword test but instead you run it from script okay but now, if you notice, it was just a one line, okay? It was just a line of code that we wanted to add as a part of script, okay? So if that's the only requirement, then better is to just write a small function and call it inside the keyword test and run it from keyword test, okay? So that, in the other words, record all the action that you can using keyword test, that is using the user action, record okay and when you hit the situation where you cannot any longer record in that time just create a function inside a script okay let's be create one function function extracting date and time out of available string okay 
and here I am gonna print a message extracting date and time out of available screen okay like that and you have you also have one more function which you think you cannot perform using keyword test so you are going to create that uh, uh, function inside the script so function would be let's say sign out okay and just print the message log message signing out of an application which cannot be performed using keyword test okay this could be possible when you do not have any stable web objects and you have to use xpath or jquery to get the locator and perform the action on it during this time you have to do the scripting instead of keyword test okay so we have this couple of functions that we think cannot be performed as a part of keyword test so go back to your keyword test which you just recorded and now when you cannot record any longer and but you have scripted inside the script folder all you have to do is just drag your script okay which contains the function that you just created and here i'm gonna select one of the function that i want like extracting date and time and click ok as you can notice it's now available here inside our keyword test also i want to call this sign out function as well okay so all this test is going to run as a part of keyword test and this couple of functions or steps i are going to run as a part of script test okay now when i run this it will as you can see it's doing all its job like printing all the steps of keyword test and this last couple of steps uh, steps excuse me are coming from the script test okay when I double click on it, it will take me directly to the function that performed that steps. Okay. All right. So this is the best practice actually. I always try to run my test from the keyword test. So record as much as you can using the keyword test because that's the best feature of test complete and use this functions or scripting function when you cannot record any longer okay and as we are talking about scripting i would also like to explain a few more things this is the javascript actually so you can select the scripting during the time of creating the project and once the scripting language is selected for your project you cannot change it any longer excuse me let me show you what i mean when i click on this file new and new project as you can see here it has this drop down where you can select the scripting language of your choice okay as i'm comfortable with javascript i keep javascript as my scripting language for my project okay so once it is selected you cannot change it any longer and you cannot mix match the scripting language once it is selected it is there till the lifetime of your project okay and also let's see scripting objects okay that are the library provided by the test complete okay those objects scripting objects are independent of programming language let's see what i mean go to your browser and go ahead and type uh, scripting objects in test complete and click on the okay and here in the search just go ahead and type scripting objects in scripting objects okay and hit enter this is the one we are interested in click on it and this will open up the scripting objects starts from the a and ends with w 
the, so these are the scripting objects or in other words are the library where you can use it in your scripting functions okay let's see this all are like equi date time let me expand it this is a method okay when you click on this EQ date, date time it will have all this explanation for instance EQ date time okay this function or this object is going to print the current time okay, let me go ahead and uh, read a function print time okay and log dot message and it's going to print this let me run this routine just right click and run this routine and it will print the that routine and as you can see it's printing the current time okay so this object that is aq date time is independent of any scripting language so if you're using python or you're using vb script you can use this object okay similarly you can explore more scripting objects okay let's say let's try this aq string where you can perform operations on available string okay click on the properties or methods okay let's say we want to get a length okay let's say you want to get a length of your string then you are going to use this method okay so one up and here log dot message and we do get length of name of my company beyond systems and control save now if I run this routine first it will it is going to print the time and then it's going to print the number of character inside this string okay so I would suggest you to explore all these scripting objects you have this AQ HTTP where you can perform APIs testing like create get request create post request you have this HTTP request, you have this response, you have this status code and all sort of scripting objects that you may want to use during the time of developing your automated test suite. Okay. So that's it in the scripting of test complete. If you have any questions, doubt, feel free to comment in the comment section of this video and see you next time. Thank you very much. So if you need a software testing consultation or software testing training, then visit to our company's URL that is www.webjohnsystems.com and on the home page click on this contact us button which will take you to the contact us section of the website. Now here either you can write us at contact at webjohnsystems.com or you can call us at this number if you are from India or at this number if you are from United States or the Canada. Thank you.